After spending time off the beaten path at a remote beach in northern Baja, it was time to continue south. As much as we wanted to stay in our little paradise all to ourselves, the winter weather was making its way down the coast, pushing away that warm beach weather we were looking for. On our last trip to Baja, we spent every night along the beach, but since we're now traveling with our son, we're forced to slow down, unable to venture as far. Luckily for us, we found another slice of paradise, a little oasis in the heart of Baja's desert, or so we thought. We're Kevin and Taylor, a travel couple turned travel family. Three years ago, we traveled to Baja for the first time and completely fell in love with it. Now we're excited to be back to share our favorite place with our favorite guy. All right, we are coming up to the highway here. Taylor crushed it. Washboard. Washboard is the worst. Yes. Uh, I guess Cabo is the Los Cabos final destination, but Molahe today. Coming from? Coming from standing not uh, no San Felipe. San Felipe. No fishing, just surfing. Surfing. Yep. Okay. Gracias. Gracias. So we only made it about an hour and why it's getting a little fussy here. So super fussy. We're gonna stop and get some food. We're here in Guerrero Negro in the first big city or big town of Baja, California, sir, the southern state of Baja. We made it to Southern Baja. There's a really popular fish taco place where we went last year and we're going back. Little oh, man is excited. Tacos grande. No tacos for you. All right. We got pescado y dos shrimp or camarón. And we got some orange juice, fresh, nice and cold. Yeah. All right. OJ All fresh. right. Fresh squeezed OJ. Is it delightful? Oh my god, that's incredible. Maybe we just want to come here for that. We have salsa spicy. Wow. That is. It's <laughs> so good. Yeah. I could have like three of those. Yeah. You want to try it? Mommy's going to wear this, isn't she? Whoa. Mommy help you? <laughs> yummy. Yummy, yummy. Mmm. <laughs> Muy bien. <laughs> Okay, we can't eat the cap. Mmm, that was so good. The orange juice is fantastic. Which one's better? Fish is more filling. I'm our own. Mm. Our sticker was still on the wall there from our last trip. That was pretty cool. Awesome. It was right Bless next you. to uh, Drifter Bless Journeys, you. too. Bless awesome. you. Jeez. Jeez! Oops! All right. All right, you ready for some milkies? So for that very popular fish taco spa spot, it cost us roughly eight dollars and sixty-four cents for three tacos and a juice. So Worth pricing it. is great down here. We love it. Before we get to our camp spot for the night, we are filling up on water since we couldn't get it in Guerra Negro because they had no hose attachment thing. I can't think of the word. So yeah, just doing a quick provisioning before we head over to the Oasis. I think he has a hose for us. Heck yeah. Which is huge. On our way to the Rio. This is it. Only spot. free spot in town. Let's go explore. Wee! Ready? 
Here we go. Okay. This is home for the night. So, there's a pretty big river here in the heart of Baja. And, uh, I don't know, we're able to find a little, a little free spot. There's a lot of paid campgrounds, but we don't really need showers. We can shower in our own place. And I don't know, there's not really a need for us for campgrounds. So we try and find the free spots and the spot's pretty cool. I don't think I'm going swimming though. So I don't see anybody swimming. It's amazing that in the heart of the desert, you can find a little oasis like this. There's so many beautiful palm trees and the water, it's amazing. Like you just come up on it, you're driving through cactus and rocks. And the next thing you know, you're just surrounded by palm trees. It's pretty crazy. So we are right outside of San Ignacio, I believe. This is the first time we've ever stayed not on a beach. True. First time for everything. It is much warmer here than it was last night, I guess because we're not near the water. It was 83 <clears> degrees <throat> Fahrenheit, so what is what is that? 20... 22 maybe, 24? Yeah, we're gonna go uh, take a little walk. There's so many palm trees in this area. It's absolutely crazy. This spot actually reminds me so much of Hawaii. We went to Kauai when we lived there and oh, yeah. we did this paddle boarding adventure and then we ended up going on a hike and this little area specifically with the river reminds me of that spot. And this guy wants to get in the water. I want to get in the water but I don't feel like paying for a campground for just a hit and run. It's already four o'clock. It is definitely a hot one in the middle of Baja. We've been doing like oh 70s, 60s, maybe even 50s at night. And right now it is warm. And I don't think it's really going to get down very low because yeah. we're kind of off. in a arroyo here. So I don't think we're going to get much wind because there's a mountain over there and a mountain over there. So. AC looks like it's popping on tonight. Oh, oh. use that solar panel that we lost. <laughs> home sweet home. Home sweet the homie. Home sweet the homie. Since we were gonna be inside for uh, the remainder of the night, it's a great time to uh, get some cleaning done. I would have to say one of the worst things about van life is how absolutely dirty it gets on a daily basis. So having some sort of little vacuum is literally a lifesaver. Right, bud? Right? It makes it so you can crawl, crawl around. Yeah. Yeah. Whew, it's probably not even that hot, but it feels like a scorcher compared to what we came from and what we've been dealing with in Baja. Even Buddy's hot. Aren't you, bud? <laughs> yes. One of the only cold beverages we have in the entire van is Coronas, non-alcoholic and regular. So, uh, cheers to cooling down with uh, Corona. Oh, it's so cold. Champions. We're having salad tonight because it's so hot that I don't want to cook anything. Ooh, the sunset is Magnificado! Wowzers! You got berries on your face still. Wow. Pretty. What do you think, Isn't Bubba? It so pretty. They beautiful. Bonito. Our luck is flourishing. The temperature is starting to drop. It's starting to get really, really nice out. Really nice. We were nervous. We didn't turn the AC on earlier because we were like, holy crap, if it's gonna be really hot, we wanna save our batteries so we can run the AC when it at gets night. at night to stay cool, yeah. But this is beautiful. Well, we just put the baby to sleep and uh, a fellow neighbor of ours is just blasting music. <laughs> 
I don't know if you can hear it, but it's hysterical. It's like, yeah, what'd you say? It's like a bad rave? Yeah, it's like rave music. Oh boy, you gotta love it. You never know when you're gonna encounter some loud music and entertainment at night. I'm so glad there's another van here. Yeah, it's a Mercedes 172, but they're probably trying to figure out what the heck's going on too. More cop drama continues. This is wild. I'd be so nervous if I was that van. They're like in the heart of it, I feel like. Wherever you're minding our business. All right, well, it is officially 10.01 at night, the cops are gone, it is quiet outside, and it is officially time for bed. See y'all in the morning. Good morning from this little area outside San Ignacio where there was so much police traffic last night. Today we are headed to the Bay of Conception area where hopefully it's going to be a little bit more mellow than it was. Right, bud? Say it didn't wake me, mommy. That guy slept just fine. We're having a slow morning. Kevin's editing. Wyatt's watching a little bit of Miss Rachel. Mommy's pumping. And we're just uh, getting ready to get on the road, but we're not in a rush. We're about an hour into our drive already. We stopped for gas because gas stations around here are few and far between. But like every time we stop, of course, little man's awake. You don't like to sleep through our stops? Are you gonna be up for good now? <laughs> yeah, probably, <laughs> yeah. I'm back on the road praying a little man falls back asleep, but I have my doubts. He's gonna be the first one to drive the van in soft sand here in four wheel drive, so she'll be the expert. I already uh, am in soft sand. I feel like we're, if I stop going, we're just gonna. Uh oh. I'm probably overreacting. It does look a little soft in some sections. Oh, it feels soft. Oh, it, do it does? Yeah. Oh. Well, we haven't aired down yet, so worst case, we air down and we should be fine. I'm just gonna keep cruising at my uh, 29 miles an hour. I am. There's skulls. Cartel. There's skulls? Yeah, there's skulls all over their property. home for the next two days. The oasis in the heart of Baja was nice, but I think this is where we belong. Okay, this banana bread looks delicious. I mean... There's raisins or craisins on it too. Oh Walnuts. Yeah. That looks amazing. And fresh fish. Heck yeah. Living large tonight. Oh. Mm. Going back to pay because the man surprises with banana bread. Are we eating good tonight? Are we eating good tonight? <laughs> yum, yum. Say, I eat good every night, mommy. I have boogies. Mama, yay! Mama loves you. 
chicken and uh, fish tacos tonight and some banana bread for dessert. Hell, I might eat the banana bread now. Oh, the banana looks really good. So I think it was 275 pesos for a pound of fish or half a kilo and uh, banana bread. So what, 10 bucks? 15 probably. It's not but bad. But we don't have to go anywhere. Yeah. Shipped right to our house. <laughs> Seriously. Couldn't be more convenient than that. Yeah. Join us next week when we take you to the city of Loreto to show you what it's like to provision your rig in Baja, Mexico.